So what I notice is going on is that I'm re what's happening now that because I'm breaking down my old programmings, right? Okay, so because I want to explain this, I'm not, I'm not asking for money. I'm not asking for help. It's too late for all that shit, especially for my fucking family. Fuck them. Fuck my family. What I'm doing is I'm rewriting my programs because what I've done my whole life, which I'm sure my brother and sisters have done something similar in order to cope, knowing that you have billionaire family members and you're struggling every fucking day to survive. So what I'm doing is I'm rewriting my program because what my program has been is throughout my life when I'm like, oh man, that'd be nice if, man, somehow my aunt surprised me and, you know, really fucking just came through for me this year. Something happens like some kind of miracle. I didn't even talk. I don't even talk to them. You know, that just goes through your head when you have billionaire family members. You're like, surely maybe this year. You know what I mean? And not every year. I'm talking like I quit doing this years ago after they gave me $600 when I asked them for 12. So what I would do is I go, well, you know, I am, you know, I did fuck up as a kid. You know, I understand. I understand their point of view. I understand because it never made sense to me. I'm like, look, if you have an aunt that tells you she loves you and she cares about you and she, you show it. You don't sit here and passive aggressively act like that person is not enough constantly. It's a fucked up game they're playing, dude. It's a fucked up game because it fucks your head up. He who has all the money has all the fucking power in this world. Until you heal and get your soul back, which is what I'm doing. So I don't want their money. Fuck them. I'm exposing them. I'm, I haven't even said who they are. I'm exposing them as in they're rich cocksuckers, just like every other rich Billionaire cocksucker, you idiots running around thinking Elon Musk likes you. You fucking idiots. He's fucking, he's the Pied Piper walking you right off the cliff, you dumbasses. Getting ready to hook your dumbass conscience up to AI is what he's getting ready to do. Take you to Mars, you dumb motherfuckers. He's going to take you to some Hollywood studio, put you in a little fucking space shuttle that they made out of paper mache put you to sleep and take your consciousness wherever the fuck you want to go. You guys are a bunch of fucking fools, man. Huh. My nerves, my nerves are just shot, you know, I'm burnt out. And what I'm doing is I'm reprogramming my mind because what I would do when I was younger. Okay, so I, I'd say it was probably about 26. 26, maybe. Had already had my business for three years, making six figures. Man. 1200 bucks, guys. I, that's nothing. I, what, my business, I, I mean, I had months where I was making for like 15 grand. It was just, okay, great month. After my divorce, I got, I went into a, uh, I can't even say, I mean, I, I don't even know how I'm still sitting here, is what I'm trying to say. Like, it's, it's fucking ridiculous, man. Fucking ridiculous. <clears throat> I 
So the pro old programming said, Richard, you did fuck up. Remember, you did, you did almost kill your cousin and his best friend in that car accident when you were 16, Richard, remember? And then remember, Richard, remember you were so evil and so bad. Richard, you have so much to make up for. Remember, Richard, remember? Because it was like a week after that, you threw your, your other cousin, you didn't throw her, but you placed her in a closet that was like two feet away, placed her in the closet and closed the door. That's all you did, Richard. But yes, no, that is, and called her a bitch. That's right. Yep. Well. And then, and then when I showed up to get fucking, to borrow that 1200, the old man, old, the old man, the money man, my uncle's father had just died that day. And that was it. That's the last time I talked to him. And the guilt and shame in the program. And so what I'm saying is when I, so now that I'm broken down in my system shot right now, um, you know, I'm going to spend the next couple of days recovering, but now that my system shot, it helps me. What it helps me see are these things that are very like tucked inside of me deep that, you know, normally I won't even know they're there, you know? Um, but it takes when I'm really sensitive from my system being shot to, um, yeah, to be able to get this, these things out. <laughs> and it's important because I'm reprogramming my, my mind. So it's not okay. That in the, so that's what I'm trying to say is it's not fucking okay. Like this needs to get repro. It's not okay. It, if I, if the, if the roles were reversed and I was the billionaire and I had family that was suffering, there is no excuse for me not to financially help and assist in any way possible to at least keep a roof over the, their head and food in their bellies. At least make sure they have the bare necessities. That's it. Just those two things. And that is your responsibility on this earth as a human, as a human. And that's what I'm pointing out. Okay, so now, see, I'm getting to where I'm trying to get to. Um, this is very hard because I'm not trying to, I, it probably, I've never, people who know me and have been around me my whole life, no, I never talk about these people, ever, ever do I talk about these people, ever. All the hard times I've been through, all these poor people I'm around all the time, it never. Most people don't even know I even have rich family. Most people. The only people that know are people I grew up with. <laughs> it's not like I wear a badge that says, hey, I got billionaire family members. So this is very hard, you know what I mean? So when I start talking about it, it's the guilt and shame. And so it's, it's like the fog, the memory fog, and then all the emotions and memories, and then the having to reprogram and thinking of my, how, you know, my self-worth, thinking I was just a piece of shit that needed to improve my whole life because I wasn't worthy of my wealthy family members. You know what I mean? All this shit runs this programming in the back of your mind. It's all mental fuck. So not only have they not helped me out, but they've also dumped tons of shame and guilt on me didn't help me with any of my abuse as a kid knew about it i mean these people are disgusting this is not acceptable this is not human and i understand why this happened like this is because these cocksuckers are so wrapped up in their breads and circuses these cocksuckers are so wrapped up in this world they love it they love it you wouldn't believe i mean if i went into the amount of money okay just an example when we were kids my aunt had a story like a couple years after they, her, maybe not even that, maybe a year, maybe a year after her and my uncle got together, he had bought her like a $10,000 pair of earrings. They went to the beach and she, they immediately, a wave hit and they fell out. And she was like, oh, well, that's what kind of wealth, that was 30 years ago, 40 years ago. The God, that was 35, 36 years ago. That's the kind of wealth I'm talking about. 
so well, I mean, guys, like, so wealthy, you couldn't even fucking imagine. You can't imagine it. And that's why when I saw my ex, when my ex, when my first ex got a hold of that bag of jewelry, you know, it was probably about a couple hundred grand worth of jewelry. I wanted nothing to do with it because it was just quick money. That money comes and goes. I wasn't interested in that. I wanted some fucking wealth. You know what I mean? <clears throat> Having to do that hustle and fucking try to find someone to sell that shit to and then fucking having to deal with cops and undercovers and being that young out of the military. I wanted nothing to do with it. It didn't interest me. Not at all. So what I'm doing is I'm reprogramming my mind. If I have something, if I have something and someone is in need, I help. That's what us poor people do. That is humanity. That is humanity. These rich people who didn't work for their money that are sitting on their thrones and looking down on you going, the only reason you're not where I'm at is because you haven't worked hard enough. You haven't learned your lessons. You didn't do what you love to do when you were younger and that's why you're where you're where you're at now and that's what they're doing and it's disgusting and i'm telling you guys how disgusting that is you're fucking elon musk and all these other cocksuckers you guys fucking love to idolize you better stop that shit real quick you better stop that shit immediately. That is the most ignorant ass shit. If you're following a religion, if you're following a government, if you're following an institution, if you're following a rich person, if you're following a billionaire, you are fucking mind controlled. You need to stop that shit. You are an idolizing. You are an idolater. You need to stop. Because you're going to end up like me. You need to stop. If you're young, if you're in your 20s, you need to stop, man. Just stop and heal. Give it all up. Let go of this fucking world. Look, I don't, I don't, I'm not even jealous of the, I'm not jealous. I don't want what they have because I realize what this world is. That is scary. I'm actually very fortunate I didn't end up in that because God, that's got to be a hard thing to let go of. All, everything. Could you imagine? Guys, these people are so fucking wealthy. They can buy a brand new Mercedes every fucking month if they wanted. They could buy anything. Anything. That kind of money, you can buy anything. There's nothing in this world you can't have. They can wear a, a brand new $10,000 shirt every fucking day of the, every fucking day. That's the kind of wealth I'm talking. It's, it's. It's not even, you can't even imagine it. It's disgusting. These people have a disease. They, they, are, they are possessed by their wealth. It possesses them, guys. It is easier for a camel to fit through the eye of a needle than for a rich man to enter the gates of heaven. Is there a heaven? I don't fucking know. I think what they mean by that fucking verse is a rich is for, for you to find your soul. Heaven, being able to get out of this fucking hell hole. Called earth. They better enjoy it while they got it because they're getting reincarnated right fucking back here. And guess what? They're probably going to end up like me next time. A life of suffering. Who knows? I don't care, but I don't want it. I don't want to risk it. It's not worth it to me. That's what I'm saying. I don't want their fucking money. All I'm doing now is reprogramming my mind. It might seem like I'm bitching about them, but what I'm doing is getting shit out of my mouth that has never come out. That's needed to come out. This is toxic shit that's spilling out of my mouth that's been stuck inside me. The time to be mad at them is over, man. That's all that shit. It's just, it is what it is, man. It's just nasty and disgusting. 
And I guess what, you know, maybe this is an example to you. If somebody else, no matter if they're rich or whatever, if somebody else in your life is holding something else over your head and making you feel shame and guilt and making you feel this way. And, and you know, you can't, you feel like you're trapped. Like you can only move in one direction. Get rid of them. Cut them off. Go like this. Tell them to go fuck themselves. Walk straight up to them. Tell them to go fuck themselves. Then go to your own place, wherever that is, and start your healing. Turn everything off and start your healing. Because there's nobody coming to save you. There's nothing in the, there's nothing outside of you that's going to help you or save you. Nothing. Absolutely nothing. It's all there to distract and tear you away from your soul. My billionaire family members, that's their only job on this earth when it comes to me is to, to drive that wedge, was to drive that wedge between me and my soul. That's all it was. It was a dividing wedge. Disgusting. It's disgusting. But they filled their role and they have their billions of dollars and that's great. I feel sorry for them. I don't know how many, like if you're miserable when you're that wealthy and you buy everything you want and you're still miserable, what do you do? <laughs> At least I'm seeing that, I mean, this is adventurous. I'm like, I can sit here in a chair and not do any drugs, not be on any kind of outside influence and just sit here in a chair with my own thoughts and just be amazed. At self-discovery. So I guess my biggest point is I'm reprogramming myself and I just, you know, maybe you guys can see the resemblance in some kind of relationship you have in your life where you're getting your energy sucked, where you might have placed a belief system and just put, like I said, I mean, I put this, I was like 26, I think when I borrowed that money. So is that 17 years ago, 18 years ago, something like that? And I've been on, I just, I put that program down. I said, okay, well, this is just how it is. You're, you're, a, you know, you will not be able to talk to them until you have established yourself materially to, you know what I mean? It's fucked up, but you just park yourself, the part of yourself there. You know what I mean? And it's not good. It's very toxic because when something like this comes up, what happens is your subconscious is going right back to that old programming of remembering, oh, well, I have billionaire family members. Why aren't they helping me out? Oh, because I'm not worth it. But I can't think like that because I'm just barely holding on. And I'm sure that people think I'm thinking negatively already, which I'm not. I'm just being real and facing shit. So I certainly can't be thinking things like, oh, well, I'm not enough because I don't have enough material possessions or enough money. You know what I mean? So, yeah, man, this is good. Um, I think this was the video I wanted to get out about this. You know, hopefully there's no more, man. Um, I, I don't like talking about this. Hopefully it's helping somebody else out. My ears are really fucking bugging the hell out of me today. Um, you know, again, not... Just reprogramming, man. Yeah, that's really important. Because that's not human. It's not human to be a billionaire and not help out. If you have... Because those billionaires only have like maybe a, do, a half a dozen family members. Maybe. Maybe a half a dozen family members that aren't wealthy. And for them not to help it, that's inhumane. It's inhumane. There's, there's a, so that what, I guess what that's telling me is there is, there's, this is on purpose. This is all on purpose. This is all on purpose. Cause I think my brothers and sisters feel the same way about them. I'm not sure. I can't speak for them, but I don't know. I don't know. Cause we don't talk about them. We never talk, even with my brothers and my sisters, we never talk about them ever ever. I don't remember the last time I had a conversation about my rich family with 
with my poor family. Literally, when I left my rich family 17, 18 years ago, that was the last time I've talked to anybody about them, except for my uncle, my my other uncle, um, my aunt and my mom's brother. But that's a whole that's a whole nother scenario, you know, because he's very tight with them, always has been. You know, he's the youngest. He's the young brother. What a weird, fucked up situation, dude. That wealth could destroy a family in certain ways like that. Yeah.